Hi everybody, I'm Danny, and this time I'm not talking about LEGO Mindstorms, but about LEGO We Do Too. I had a lot of fun designing this cute little robot named Zigzag. In this video I will show you how it works, and how you can make a line following a robot out of it, or you can remote control it. To start with, I have to show you the mechanism of this robot. Such a mechanism allows the motor to drive one wheel at a time. So with one motor we can make the robot steer. And it will proceed in a zigzag motion rather than in a forward and curvy motion. Let me show you. When the motor turns in this direction, this wheel turns. When the motor turns in the other, the other wheel turns. To understand how the program works, we have to first see the readings from the sensor. When the sensor is placed on the white surface, it reads zero. That means the object is very, very close, which in fact is. When we move the sensor on the black line, the reading is higher, in this case is 7. This is because black re uh, doesn't reflect light as good as white. So it's like seeing an object far away instead of very close. This way we can distinguish white from black. White, the edge of the line, and black. Now that you know how the mechanism of the robot works and how the sensor reading works, let's take a look at the program. It might seem complicated, but in fact it's not. Let's see. The program starts here with the start block. We set the, sp the speed of the motor to the maximum, but we want it to be still. Then, in a forever loop, we use the reading from the sensor to trigger different sequences according to the value it has read. Since the value of the sensor are discrete, that means they are just 0, 1, 2, 3, there is no decimal, we can address them all this way, from 0 to 10. So, for example, if the robot is on the white surface, its reading will be low, 0, 1, 2, 3. In this case, we want the motor to turn in this direction. That will cause the robot to turn against, uh, towards the line for 0 0.2 seconds. But when the sensor reading is above 3, the direction of the motor is switched in the other direction. So, four values from 4 up to 10, the motor turns in the other direction. As you can guess, the program is quite bulky because of the limitation of the we do programming software we, with another software like uh, lego mindstorm cb3 or boost would be much easier it would be just a switch block with a, a block that allows you to compare the reading from the sensor with a threshold with a number like three or four so you could activate the motor in one direction if the reading is below that threshold and turn the motor in the other direction if the reading was higher than the threshold but that, that's how it is. That's Lego we do. It's designed to be simple, so the limitation forced me to design the program as it is. With this very simple program, we can remote control the robot from the keyboard. You can download the building and programming instructions for this cute little robot from my website. See you next time for another LEGO invention. Ciao!